Many cultures have specific folk tales about Christmas, most of which whimsical and jolly. But in Central Europe, certain traditions are rooted in ancient pagan origins, giving rise to dark legends of strange creatures. Such creatures tend to emerge only in midwinter, and for a brief period, terrorize their chosen victims, disappearing with the holiday season. Today we look at perhaps the scariest of them all. This is the story of Krampus. It is a terrible sight, a half-goat humanoid demonic figure. Many of its physical features are disturbing. Its sharp claws, tall horns, and freakishly long tongue. Krampus has one cloven hoof and one human foot, a chain tied around his waist, and glowing red eyes. In many ways, he is the inverse of Santa Claus, awakening at Christmas to punish poorly behaved children. That is his sole purpose. For most of a year, he lies in hibernation, awaiting his chance to cause pain. Wandering the countryside of Central Europe, he carries a large tree branch in one hand, with which he beats children. The measure of bad behaviour dictates the punishment given by Krampus. Some will escape with only a few lashes, but others are beaten almost to death, or even abducted. Often he is seen carrying a sack or basket to stuff children into and carry them off. Waking up to find their children missing, the only sign of Krampus will be the strange prince he leaves in the snow. But the trail soon dies out, and no one is ever able to find the monster. Once abducted, the fate of a child will be decided by Krampus. Perhaps he will throw them into a nearby lake, or eat them alive, or drag them to hell. The only sign Krampus is approaching is the sound of rattling chains in the distance. Slowly drawing nearer, few realise its cause until the beast has arrived. But even if you did, it would be too late. Any adults to get between him and his victim will swiftly be killed, torn apart by its large claws. But still many try all kinds of methods to protect their children from Krampus. Some hang small twigs above their doorway, believing that would ward him off. It is unclear if this has any effect, nor is it clear what the origin of Krampus is. It's been said he is the child of Satan, and spends most of a year in hell. Most, however, say he is an ancient pagan relic, the last survivor of a race of evil creatures. According to folklore, others of that race may also have survived, materialising as other Christmas monsters, like Belsnickel or Turon. Krampus today is seen as a purely mythical figure. People in Austria even dress up as him in December. But in times gone by, he was believed to be all too real. They believed his teeth were strong enough to bite through steel, his tongue could elongate to 10 feet, and his bright red eyes could be seen from miles away. It was in the 19th century that the fear associated with Krampus began to fade. Over time, he was increasingly commercialised, and depicted more as a comical figure. People even exchanged Christmas cards bearing his image. Every year, millions of people are horrified to learn about Krampus. The pure disturbing nature of it contrasts with most other Christmas legends, and for that reason, he will never be forgotten. So that's the end of this video. If you want more content from me, follow me on TikTok or Instagram.